Four yellow, two red. Dude! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is fun. That's a good video. This is an awesome video. A videographers. <laughs> Some of you guys might not know that uh, that I was a goalkeeper. Um, I played most positions, uh, but once I hit about 14, I really decided to focus uh, everything as a player on goalkeeping. And one thing that I want to tell all young goalkeepers and goalkeeper parents and some coaches is that you shouldn't judge your goalkeeper's performance based on the score because there's so many different factors that obviously go into it. For instance, my best game ever was in high school. We were playing the number one team in the state. They were ranked nationally, and they had two U17 national team players on it. And that's rare for a high school team to be able to put that much talent. It's rare for a, a public school to have that much talent, but that's neither here nor there. And we lost five to three. Um, I gave up five goals. And most parents or most coaches would say, you gave up five goals. You couldn't have possibly played well. Well, if you looked at the tape, um, basically, I, was, I had to stand on my head to be able to just keep the score to five. And that's what usually happens in, in youth soccer is kids will stand on their heads and they'll lose seven nothing or five nothing or five to three and they either get yelled at by a parent, they get yelled at by their coach and yet they played very, very well. So please don't judge um, a performance by how many goals you gave up because I would rather have as a goalkeeper I would rather have a a game where I lost but I was standing on my head f five to three versus a game where let's say we're dominating we're up five nothing I don't face the I don't face a shot the entire game, and then the one shot that they get on goal, I give up a goal. But we won 5-1. to one. So how could a game that I gave up five goals be better than a game that I gave up one goal? And that's how it is. So next time you're judging your goalkeeper or you're, you're looking at what, um, you know, you're evaluating your goalkeeper's performance, have that in mind. Put the whole picture in mind and... and it, that's why I, I don't believe that goalkeepers being on the best team is necessarily a good thing um, because I've seen some top, top flight goalkeepers be on club teams where they don't face shots and it, it's not really great for their development. They, they, need to, they need to get action. So that's my two cents on goalkeeping.